Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now this video is going to be a bit of a different one, but it's actually going to be animating a cape. So your character can, you know, have an animated cape as you can see on the screen right now. Um, obviously I'm terrible at animation. If you had an animator or you're an animator specifically, you can make this a lot nicer. But I'm going to, just going to show you how to uh, do it. And this is using skin meshes. Um, it is going to require some scripting, uh, depending on what you want it to do. Um, whether you want it like an equipable item or stuff like that or you want the animation to play depending uh if the character is running and stuff like that uh, i'm not a scripter so i'm not going to be um talking about that kind of stuff i'm just going to show you how to make the asset and um you know how to import it how to you know make it in blender uh rig it import it and then begin to animate it as you can see on the screen right now um I don't think I've actually seen any tutorials like this on YouTube so far, at least personally. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so to start off uh, with this asset, the first thing you want to do is go into Blender. Now, as you can see, I have my asset currently here and it's rigged with this armature here. But we're just going to move this out the way for now and uh, work on a completely different one. So, the first thing you wanna do is, um, obviously this depends on you, whatever you want the cape to look like. Um, I'm gonna uh, go for a different approach here from what I did to this one, um, just so you can see a different outcome. But essentially, if you wanna do the same thing I did here, uh, you just import a cube, uh, press S to scale Y, and, and then scale it down on the Y axis, uh, bring it in and then basically you know get the the rough shape of, uh, shape of the cape and then add a bunch of loop cuts to add the loop cuts you do control R and then use the mouse wheel to increase the amount of loop cuts and then we kind of you can add the curve into it uh, if you want by you know just doing this um, and you know you kind of have this uh, cape here or you can animate that in afterwards it's up to you but for now I'm gonna try a different method which is just using planes so I'm actually gonna just delete uh, this if you want your uh, cape to be 3d just uh, leave it as is so don't delete it but I want mine to be 2d and then I'm gonna set it to um, so it's double-sided so you can see the cape so, so I want to add some details at the bottom, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Just add a little bit of detail to the cape and then I'm going to shade it smooth. So once you have um, the cape basically that you want and you're done with the details, you want to go ahead and rig it. So I'm going to hide this by pressing H. And I'm going to lock onto the X axis. Now, I can't really see it too much because obviously it's a flat asset. So I'm going to extrude it temporarily. Um, you guys can do this if you want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add armature. So now we have a one bone here. So I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to go into edit mode. And bring these little circles uh, to the uh, edges here. So then I'm going to press E to extrude, and then just follow the shape of the cape. So th what this is doing is basically building the armature around the cape, so you can essentially um, uh, rig the cape. So once that is done, now I'm going to delete these faces because I do not want them. I want my cape to be flat and obviously having a flat cape is also probably more optimized um, as you do need a decent amount of loop cuts to actually animate it so make sure you have loop cuts into your asset uh, like these into your cape or else your uh, your model is basically not going to uh, be able to mold around the the bone structure so once we have that, you want to go ahead and click the cape first and then click the bone armature and then press C 
control and P and then you just click with automatic weights. Once that is done, you should have your uh, cape rigged now. Now to check if it works, you can go ahead and go into pose mode here and then you can select the bone like so and rotate it by pressing R and then as you can see the cape kind of follows along this um, this bone structure as you can see like this and it works as if like uh, each bone is the child of another so this point here will only um, mess with the bottom part of the cape However, if you click on the top part, uh, top bone, it will mess with the whole cape. And it will work the same way when animating, obviously. Now, once you are satisfied with this, you want to exit uh, pose mode, go into object mode, and now you want to export it. So to export it, you want to go file, export, FBX. So now, what you want to do is you want to uh, customize a few things. So these will all be selected for you. So hold shift and then remove these three. I'm just going to keep armature, mesh and other. And then you might want to lower the scale to 0.1 or else it will be too large. And then you can export wherever you want. Now we can go ahead and import it into studio. Okay, so now that we're in studio, I'm going to go ahead and close this animation editor and just uh, move this cape out the way in fact i'm going to move the dummy as well so now we can import a separate dummy and now to import the cape you want to go ahead and click plugins avatar importer and then custom and then obviously find your cape okay so once you have your cape it will most likely be too large so what i usually do is I'll uh, grab another part and then select them both and uh, click on scale and then bring the scale down to whatever size I need so I'd say that's good enough size and then you know you can add whatever color you want to it and change the material or add whatever texture you want to it and then I'm gonna go ahead and place it on his back for example here I think the 2D capes uh, work better than, or the flat plane capes work better than the 3D capes, uh, in my uh, personal opinion. And now you can kind of uh, edit this using the bone structure. It seems that I've had a bit of an import issue with this cape. However, this is another, uh, just a simple way of showing you that you can actually use uh, planes to, um, or just a, a flat face to create a cape as well and then if you want to rig that you can do whatever but you know since it's the same method and we have uh, our bone structure on this cape I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to animate it on this cape so you can click on animation editor and the plugins and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a a new one a new animation you can name it whatever uh, and then click create and then what you have to do is click this little plus and then add all and then as you can see these bones are a, a child of one another or a parent of one another and so basically bone one will be at the top bone two will be there and then bone six will be at the bottom so if i click bone six here and then rotate as you can see the bottom of the cape deforms so you can do whatever you want with your animation until you're satisfied and then Obviously, I'm not going to show you that part, but by script, you can get it to function um, uh, correctly, like a proper cape, if you'd like. But that's um, that's pretty much it when it comes to editing the cape. Obviously, I'm not an animator, but this is kind of the basic concept that you know is required to create these capes. It's pretty simple and fast and if you can manage to script them properly you can use them as cosmetics and stuff like that um, for any game and you can use this with any other asset that you want to um, like add as a cosmetic to your character and stuff like that so you can do wings that flap and all that kind of stuff 
and then you can get like a, an animation on to your cape. Obviously this animation is terrible. Um, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. So that's pretty much it on how to make a rigged cape. Now let me know what, uh, your thoughts on this video in the comments down below. And if this helped, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.